good to have you with us. Good to have your company on DXB today. I hope you're enjoying the show thus far. First show for us, the year of 2024. The year of, well, question mark remains there. Maybe we'll get a little bit of insight. We'll wait and see because joining us now, very special guest to reflect on the year that was, the year of sustainability celebrated throughout 2023. Issa Al-Sabusi is the project lead of the year of sustainability. Uh, Issa has been very kind to join us live here in studio. Thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you for having me. It was, it, was a, it was a celebration of sustainability from January the 1st all the way through to the end of December. And what an extraordinary theme to have during COP28 at the end of the year as well. How do you, how do you reflect on the year of sustainability? Uh, it's been a great year. It's been a huge learning experience for all of us, not just us working on the project, but also for the nation as, uh, as a whole. Uh, you know, the president announced the year in January uh, under the theme of Today for Tomorrow. Uh, we covered so many different things, but specifically on conservation, on responsible consumption, and ending it to coincide with COP28 is around uh, climate action. Mm. So we've learned a lot, and you know, the whole purpose behind the Year of Sustainability is to get everyone involved, everyone who calls the UAE mm. home involved, uh, change their behaviors to be more sustainable, uh, so we can have a better tomorrow. It's, it's fascinating, but I'm I'm going to put you on the spot now, Asa. Now you said about you know learning about being sustainable because that was the whole idea. Yeah. What did you learn about being more sustainable? Where do I begin? <laughs> um, so one really important aspect, and it was a really big turning point for for us as a as a team, also in strategizing for the year, is understanding that sustainability is not something new to the people of the UAE. Sure. If we like thousands even of years before, the people who called this land their home, they were really sustainable in their own way and it came out of necessity. It was a lifestyle, it wasn't a trend that's happening worldwide and then we're adapting it. Um, so that was a huge uh, unlock. We were able to discover this, these really important stories of how people live their lives, how the fellage system for distributing water has happened in the Bronze Age, mm. um, um, and really connect that with uh, our time today. We also learned, we had a very surface level understanding of sustainability. Exactly. Uh, but we were able to dig deeper and also understand how can we get people motivated to change their daily behaviors with things that fit the context of the UAE, because it's different here than any other part of the world. And there are specific things uh, that are more related to how we live our lives. Mm -hmm. But now that the year is over, the year of sustainability has gone by, what could you think of what are some of the outcomes after that? Sure, we've had some really amazing outcomes. Of course, the understanding of the people has uh, really, it's grown so much, uh, people are uh, we're tracking and we're seeing people being more sustainable in their daily lives, but we also came out with some really uh, amazing initiatives. Uh, uh, one of them uh, is a, called the Materials Lab, which is a collaboration. We brought in artists and designers and scientists together to collaborate and really come up with more sustainable uh, products. Uh, we put out some amazing guides. I encourage everyone to go to our website, uaerov.ae, and download these guides. It'll tell you exactly what you can do, but mm. also why you should do it. Because one important unlock is that um, sustainable uh, behaviors are not just good for the environment, they're often good for your health and they're good for your financials as oh, well. Amazing, and Issa, now tell us please, like, you know, moving forward, what's, uh, what's next for for, for you, for us, and for, for the UAE in terms of sustainability? So one thing, of course, you know, uh, 2023 was the year of sustainability, but that doesn't mean that we should only focus on sustainability in, in that year alone. This is a long-term goal, and this is something that we should adopt as a lifestyle. So there are things that we're carrying forward yeah. from that year. One really important thing, and it's really fun, and we're kind of fully announcing soon, but uh, there is a, uh, something we call Estidama Craft, uh, and it is a full level in Minecraft, the most famous game in the world, yeah. that is all about uh, sustainability in, in the UAE, and that's something that we can't wait for people to get to experience uh, as well. So we are taking some things uh, forward. Um, whatever we do in 
2024 and beyond should have sustainability as a backbone. That's mm -hmm. not something that we're just using for a year. And that was one of the foundations uh, of the year of sustainability and of COP28, this legacy build. It's not just for a couple of weeks, it's not just for 12 months, it's about the legacy and building there afterwards. Absolutely. From the evidence you're seeing, mm -hmm. and it's great to hear that you know we've embraced it more, that you've embraced it more. Are you seeing it in people's everyday lives at the moment? Do you think we've become more sustainable? Absolutely, and you know, the first step is understanding why you should be doing this. So we are seeing a, a higher levels of understanding of what sustainability is. Uh, we've tried throughout the year to give very specific behaviors for people to take on. So we're seeing an increase in that. And you know, with the momentum that happens, especially near the end of the year with COP28, you're seeing all of, uh, all of these initiatives, not just happening from us or from COP, but also from many different uh, partners. Um, we're seeing an uh, uptake in, in, uh, in sustainable behavior, uh, but that does, that's not a flip of a switch. That takes time, yeah. and these are small steps that you keep on adding and adding and adding. So everything that you do eventually is sustainable. Yeah, I love it. Huge success. Yeah. Now with the year 2023 yeah. being the year of sustainability. You're going there, are you? I am, I am. There, <laughs> Louis, you he's know. got a smile on his face like, ah, oh, might get taken off air any minute now, people, okay? Are Just you at least gonna give us a hint as to what 2024 <laughs> will be the year of? Um, I tried giving you a hint actually in my answer oh, before. No, it just, I got it. just now. I got it. Uh, but uh, but uh, we want you to stay tuned. Oh. And um, there are some upcoming announcements happening uh, very soon, hopefully. And, and hopefully you'll be happy with what we have in store for you. You saw the handle a little bit earlier on. It's at Year of UAE. So just keep, on, keep, your, keep an eye on that one. I'm sure Absolutely. all the details will be on there, won't they? <laughs> yep. I, I picked up on the hint and I'm really pleased with myself. I'm going to be asking you off air. Issa, thank you so much for coming in. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you so much for Stick having me. Stick around because now it is time for the all important DXB in 60. Louis, over to you. Oh, yes, Lara, I hope you're ready. This is you showing off who you are oh, in God. 60 seconds. Blimey, okay. okay. Rapid fire, quick questions, okay? Right. Are okay. you ready? No, I'm not, but let's just do it anyway. Your 60 seconds starts in three. Three, two, one, here we go. If you weren't in content creation, what industry would you be working in? I would be a celebrant fully. Oh. <laughs> I would marry people for a living. That sounds like fun. It does. One thing you cannot live without. I can't live without my dog. Oh, Rufus. What's your dog's name? His name is Rufus. Oh, Rufus. Your motto in life and work? Uh, w uh, w uh um, <laughs> Work hard, play harder. <laughs> Your first job? Was a, I was filing in an insurance company. It's dreadful. This one's always the hardest. Your hidden gem in Dubai. My hidden gem, I've said this so many times that now it's no longer a hidden gem, but I, I loved 21 Grams. Um, it's a fantastic uh, sort of Serbian restaurant. Um, my new hidden gem, I think, is Frankie's Italian Pizzeria in JLT. Mwah, bellissima. If you could choose one superpower, what would that be? I would fly so that I could zoom past everybody stuck in traffic on Sheikh Zad Road. <laughs> one last, why Dubai? Why Dubai? It has been uh, my home and my heart for 14 years and it should be everyone else's. So just a couple of thank yous before we move on. Laura, thank you very much indeed for being our first guest co-host <laughs> of a brand new season. Absolute pleasure. Will you be back? I would love to. Great stuff. Well, we'll have you back in the season. And of course, Isa, thank you so much indeed for joining us and explaining a bit more about the year of sustainability. Right, we are. We promised you our singer at the end of the show playing us out tonight. Uh, we got a little bit of an idea about who he is, but what about the story behind that individual? Shahir has got more. We're at the fridge in Alistair Carlin. I'm joined by 1919. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Of course, pleasure is all ours. So uh, can you start off by telling us a bit more about you as an artist? How did you get into music? So basically I started like around 2017 uh, as a, a rapper in a group but uh, recently we broke up the group and now I'm solo artist again. So it's a nice ride you know like being a solo artist and um, doing a lot of originals and hopefully this year will be more and more. 
have you felt as though you've, you know, had more of a grasp over your voice as an independent artist? Of course, because uh, being independent means um, you have your own like uh, flow, style, everything. No one is controlling you or, or anything. So you do whatever you feel is best for you. So yeah, independent artist always, you know. And speaking of, you'll be performing an original today, right? Yeah. I'll be performing my latest song, it's called Telephone. It was shot and directed by Christine Ishaq. And it was uh, actually shot in um, Georgia. So I hope you guys enjoy it, you know. That's really cool. And if people want to get into music in the UAE or Dubai specifically, do you have any pieces of advice that you'd like to share? Yeah, just um, don't uh, don't listen what people uh, think about your music because in the end of the day, you are making your music and it's coming from you. To them so just to focus on yourself and uh, let the negativity away you know well said and if people want to find you get in touch with you or see you perform live where can they do that they can uh, see my insta spotify everywhere my music is actually everywhere and it's free actually and uh, just write 19 and you can find it everywhere thank you so much and guys do stay tuned to the end of the show as we'll be watching 19 perform live here at the fridge in al -Sirkal.